Hello Internet, Tim here. This is the second episode of Whiskey and Wood. For today, I'm going to be drinking some Weiser's Legacy. This is a Canadian whiskey, um, a rye whiskey, copper pot distilled, 45%. Yeah, so this uh, this whiskey is very. It tastes like a bourbon. It's very sweet. It doesn't really taste like other Canadian whiskeys that I've had in the past. Um, the tasting notes from under the label say that the nose is rich oak with warm notes of apple, cinnamon, toffee, and freshly baked banana bread. The palate is buttery toffee and tart green apple followed by deep bold oak and hints of fresh cracked black pepper. The finish is warm lingering oak and toffee with vanilla and apple. So apple was mentioned a few times in, in all those and I, you, you can, as I said, just it tastes sweet you know it doesn't um it doesn't really taste like a canadian whiskey but it is good and i actually quite like it first time i've had this bottle um and i would recommend it especially if uh you kind of veer away from the canadian whiskeys because uh you don't like them you know i'd say give give this a shot so that'll do it for the whiskey for wood i'm going to make some knife handles. So both my brothers have birthdays uh, this this week. So um, for my one brother, he wanted a kitchen knife to chop onions specifically. So um, I picked up this. This is a Zen Japanese steel, uh, 67 layers, fancy Japanese steel type thing. Um, very light. I uh, and you know it just came with with just the knife and I'll be I'll be adding the handle um, and then this is a ridiculously large Pakistani Bowie knife that I bought off of Amazon for like 20 bucks um, and I'll be adding a handle to this and I might also make a sheath for this one I'm I'm not sure uh, for both of these I'm going to uh, make it out of this this palm wood, uh, black palm wood. I got this from Woodcraft. I've never used it before. It looks really cool. Um, just the pattern on it and the coloration and everything, which is why I picked it up. Um, the guy at Woodcraft said this stuff is a bitch to work with because it splinters like crazy. So I'm going to try to um, not stab myself too many times and see how it goes.
All right, so here we have pretty much the finished products. Um, yeah, man, there's like some glare coming off of those. It's shiny. Um, so again, this was black palm wood. Um, this wood was extremely unpleasant to work with. <laughs> I stabbed myself a few times. Um, it like all these little black parts of the wood would actually like flake off from the rest of it and kind of like form their own splinters and you can see on the end here kind of when I was filing and sanding um, some of them just like remove themselves uh, from from the end there uh, same thing on this one a little bit but yeah I do it looks really cool it's you know once I sanded it down to 320 grit it was you know a nice feel and everything but it's it was it was definitely tough to work with <laughs> um, but yeah it looks cool and I'm happy with how these turned out uh, I did do some rivets for for the Bowie knife um, which turned out pretty well um, and I put a coat of wood grain filler on them uh, and then I'm finishing with tongue oil. It just has uh, one coat on right now, but I will probably add, uh, put a couple more coats on. Um, for the whiskey, again, this was very good. This is the first time I had this bottle. Uh, definitely recommend it. It's like a Canadian bourbon is how I would describe it. So there you go. Whiskey and wood.